Oh hi there, it's me. I'm just making a, another quick video. Uh, I was showing off some uh, some of my room before. It's the Vancouver SRO rooms. I'm uh, working on a Twitter a Twitter uh, moments page, so I'll collect everything there. Uh, an additional uh, in addition to that, sorry, uh, some YouTube videos. Okay. I didn't see it from that angle that I could. There's a wipe down possible here. Anyway, that's just the first coat. I was in testing all of this out. How it happened is, uh, look, there's some wall damage. Here. You see it? Uh, there. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I took a piece of the the wall off uh, with the paint off, and I was able to match the colors. I brought it down to uh, Cloverdale Paints, and I was able to match the colors. The color is actually uh, it's weird. It's three, three one three here zero three one three. I guess the name is uh, Chick Chick Magnet. I didn't know that. I just saw zero, uh, zero three one three, and it matched the color. Anyway, that's that was a good joke. That's from Cloverdale Paints. That's on Terminal. So go down Main on foot uh, from downtown, and then you go uh, east on Terminal. And uh, Cloverdale Paints is on the north side of the street. Uh, yeah. I don't know much about paint, but this is the. The base paint's about twenty dollars. Bring twenty-five dollars. Uh, the other paint stores, of course, uh, closed down. It used to be General Paint, and uh, it was uh, Ted Harris uh, Paints and Wallpapers. Uh, they closed down. Uh, General Paint was uh, bought by Sherman Williams, and uh, the Strathcona factory, which you could walk to. I, I stayed in front of it for a little while. Was closed down. Uh, in the, the park, but anyway, Cloverdale Paints is working. Uh, there's a Sherman uh, Williams down on a uh, prior or venables uh, up there but uh, this is for me the more comfortable walk okay um this is from the dollar store this kit was a uh, a dollar 50 or something two dollars okay and uh, it, it came with this tray so now that the colors match with a, just a, a piece off the broken wall and uh, it's not paint everywhere it's uh, it's easy to, to come off of the floor. I'll show you later. Most of it's coming from the wall, okay. Uh, yeah. So what I was working on now is uh, touch-ups. Uh, the radiator, there's a, a small uh, other video uh, was tested. You know, some metal flakes coming off. There's rust, there's stuff like that. It needs to be done. You know, the metal there. There, and I, I noticed there's something behind this too. Well, look, there's a fly, there are fly swatters back there and there's something behind this like wall pieces something I have to, to clean up pieces of drywall that has to be picked out of there okay uh, so what else yes yeah, things like that become invisible from a distance uh, also any other pieces of wall clean up here here and I'm gonna have to get a uh, Hasn't been painted yet. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, gonna have to get a uh, more of this uh, wall putty to fill up the holes and cracks and stuff, and even it, even it out. Okay. So that that's how you can paint it. Now imagine the radiator there. Imagine that like neon blue or something, or like bright yellow like this. Okay, and the countertops and stuff. That could be neon or whatever too. Uh, like the blue on the bleach there. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's not strong enough for the. That cup, that green on the cup, could be uh, bright green on the cup. Uh, the whole thing could be green. And that could be uh, bright green with the countertop white. You see what I'm saying? To preserve the countertop. Okay. Yeah, so I just thought it'd fall up. This is the, the first test. Uh, you know, I got a piece of the wall. I take a take a bigger sample of the wall if you can. Uh, big as you can. Maybe an inch by an inch by an inch. They got a or inch by an inch, and they got a matching uh, program, but I wasn't able to use it because my sample is too small. Uh, this is gonna be, have to fill that in with putty and then redone, it's just the first coat. So it worked perfectly. This is the uh, the kit here. Okay. okay. Look at this now. Look how good that, that one looks. It's still got some blemishes on it, but look how good. The black needs to be done, of course. But I mean, that had scratches and scrapes on it before. 
This had scratches and scrapes on it. This one, I can show it off because uh, here, it still has there, still has some scrapes. Oh, that's pretty good. I didn't even finish this side of it, but you see the scrapes and scratches going to come off. And you see the scrapes and scratches here are going to come off. Yeah, that was all, all over, all over places. So yeah, the door's got a, I did a full door. It's drying just the first coat. See the door handles, stuff like that. Yeah, anyway, it looks better. Looks much better. So anyway, that's 313 for mine. The, uh, these are not the, the, the chick magnet uh, paint. Okay, uh, from Cloverdale Paints on Terminal. And it's working well. Uh, it cost, uh, again, uh, bring $25. It cost uh, under $20. And it's worth every every penny and uh, again to do all this I didn't use enough I mean I didn't use very much at all uh, but a can like this which is a one liter uh, will do yeah uh, I mean a bigger can you got paint for days and uh, this paint is fully compatible with the SRO I live in so I can take it to someone else's room and do touch-ups for them okay 313 okay take care and thanks for watching